because the Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, is also facing dissent from his own rank and file. Absolutely. And it is uh, broader than the State Department. It's uh, really a sort of wave of growing dissent within the Biden administration as a whole. Uh, but the State Department is, of course, uh, where the focal point is, because we're talking about diplomats who are uh, dealing with this crisis on uh, the day to day. And uh, Antony Blinken had to sort of respond. He wrote a letter uh, responding to this growing dissent uh, from a U.S. Uh, diplomats, saying, I know that for many of you, the suffering caused by this crisis is taking a profound personal toll. He talked about the fact that some people within uh, the State Department may disagree with approaches that we are taking. Uh, we are listening. So uh, the State Department and the Biden administration officials are trying to show that they are hearing some of those disagreements. And that is because over the past few weeks, since really the October 7th attack by Hamas uh, in Israel, uh, there has been a growing uh, sound of a dissent coming uh, from officials within uh, the Biden administration. Uh, just recently, uh, last week, there was a USAID, uh, the development agency, a letter by, open letter by about a thousand people within uh, that agency calling for the U.S. Uh, to call for a ceasefire. Uh, there was a State Department official involved in arms transfers to uh, Israel that resigned over these policies. And there is the growing warning from diplomats in the Middle East who are saying, uh, watch out, your support for Israel is not being seen well in the Arab world. We are losing Arab publics for a generation, was the warning from those diplomats. Ketavan, thank you very much for that. Ketavan, go to